Good morning. I am so happy to welcome you all to the Prem Learning Center graduation and moving up ceremony of 2020. I want to thank all of our students, families, caregivers, staff, and distinguished members of our Eastern Suffolk BOCES family for being with us today as we celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2020. Although this may not be the way we plan to end this school year, I hope we can all agree that we have much to celebrate. Pledge of Allegiance, led by John Corallo, and remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner, sung by Stephanie Innes. For I be the lady, the winner said, I did not do our makeup. And she not for me, so we say, what they say, I be God, invisible, when we see a dollar shower. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we how the twilight blessed me to the rising bright star. In a river, I cried for the land of rewards. Was a gallantly streaming when the rocking and the night of our first in the our flag was still there. All soon as the star spangled banner yet Our students have gained so much during their time here at Prem. They have expanded their knowledge and skills. They've embraced new relationships and deepened familiar ones. They have learned from their experiences in their community and learned to experience their community in new ways. At every turn, our students have surprised us, impressed us, amused us, and inspired us. We are confident that all of our students honored here today are ready to embrace everything their future has to offer. I say this with no reservation. Three months ago, we were thrust into a world we didn't recognize. We were sent on a path which didn't exist until all of a sudden it did. It is in moments like these where we can see most clearly who we are capable of being.
We have seen our students work through what was unknown and uncomfortable. We've seen them show perseverance and joy in their learning, and they have freely shared that joy with the caregivers and family members who work with them every day. To those families and caregivers, we owe you a tremendous thank you for everything you've done to support your child's learning at home over the last several months. We know what a tremendous undertaking this was for you, and we are so grateful for your support. There's always great value placed on the homeschool connection, but this year we have seen what that can truly mean. As difficult as this time has been, our entire PREM staff has deeply appreciated the opportunity to work so closely with our students' families, and that has provided us the bright silver lining to this experience. You have been the keys to our success, not just now, but always, and we hope you will celebrate yourselves along with your students today. At the beginning of the school year, we asked our staff to identify the central values to our work here at Prem. We brainstormed for some time and came up with words like kindness, community, hope, patience, compassion, and thrive. Those words are prominently displayed on the wall behind me. We didn't know how important those words would become, and we didn't know how clearly our students and staff would come to rely on and embody those values. To the Prem class of 2020, I congratulate you and celebrate you. You have brought such joy and pride to Prem Learning Center, and we know you will continue to do that wherever you may go. Congratulations to you all. And now we'd like to honor our students who are moving on and moving up. Alexandra Barahona, Allie, as she likes to be called, lives in the Central Islip School District. She's in Colette Fabrizio's class. Allie is very independent and helpful in the classroom. She's able to follow the classroom routine without assistance. She comes in each morning, puts all her belongings away, takes down the chairs and gets ready for breakfast. She enjoys completing puzzles on the iPad. Allie will be receiving the Independence Award. Next year, Allie will be attending Prem Learning Center at Merrimack. Edwin Galeas. Edwin lives in the Central Islip School District. He's in Colette Fabrizio's class. Edwin enjoys reading books, especially Dr. Seuss and Pete the Cat. Edwin strives to make his wants and needs known with the use of his communication device. Edwin will often request Help Kids Learn on the iPad. Edwin will be receiving the Augmentative Communication Device Award. Next year, Edwin will attend the Prem Learning Center at Merrimack. Michelle Garcia. Michelle lives in the Brentwood School District. She is in Ms. Benish's class. Michelle is very good at basic addition and especially enjoyed playing basketball in physical education class. Michelle will be receiving the Independence Award. Next year, Michelle will attend Prem Learning Center at Merrimack. Elijah Twombly. Elijah resides in the Patchogue Medford School District. He's in Valerie Sparks' class and has displayed incredible progress in such a short time. He enjoys all school-related activities and is more willing to try new things with more independence. He enjoys reading, math, science, and social studies. Elijah will be receiving the Personal Growth Award. Next year, Elijah will attend Prem Learning Center at Timber Point Elementary School. This program will promote his independence in a more inclusive learning environment. Caleb Scriven. Caleb lives in the Bayshore School District. He's in Mrs. Benish's class. Caleb is very good at mathematics and especially enjoyed making new friends at Timber Point. Caleb will be receiving the overall academic achievement award. Next year, Caleb will attend class within the Bayshore School District. Henry Treminio. Henry resides in the Bayshore School District. He's in Lori Poplowski's class. Henry is very good at being a classroom helper and participating in activities of daily living. He especially enjoys school dances, using the scooter, and going to his therapy sessions. Henry will be receiving the music award. 
Next year, Henry will be attending class within the Bayshore School District. John Corallo. John lives in the Middle Country School District. He's in Colette Fabrizio's class. John is very friendly and enjoys interacting with other students and staff in the building. He's always polite and kind to others. He enjoys participating in group activities, especially when music is included. John's very patriotic and enjoys reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. John will be receiving the Socialization Award. Next year, John will attend Brookhaven Learning Center. Anthony Cerullo. Anthony resides in the Patchog Medford School District. He's in Mrs. Lawrence's class. Anthony enjoys working on his Edmark reading program. He will be receiving the reading award this year. Anthony is a very compassionate friend to his classmates. He received the leadership award in February for all of his hard work. Anthony has the biggest smile and next year Anthony will be attending Brookhaven Learning Center. Yumari Akinlana. Yumari lives in the Rocky Point School District. He's in Mrs. Fusco's class. Yumari encourages his friends and keeps them positive throughout the day. Yumari strives to gain mobile independence. He enjoys participating in group class activities, especially Kahoot. Yumari will be receiving the Physical Therapy Award. Next year, Yumari will attend the Brookhaven Learning Center. Tyshawn Anthony. Tyshawn lives in the Central Islip School District. He's in Mrs. Fusco's class. Tyshawn is very meticulous in doing his work, especially art. He especially enjoys playing group sports with the Merrimack students on the playground. Tyshawn's biggest accomplishment this year is his improvement in reading and he is receiving the reading award. Next year, Tyshawn will attend the Brookhaven Learning Center. We have two. Liliana Diaz. Liliana lives in the West Islip School District. She's in Faith Altimos's class. Liliana is very good at reading and especially enjoyed participating in morning meeting and smart board lessons. Liliana will be receiving the Cooperation Award. Next year, Liliana will attend the Brookhaven Learning Center. Joshua Kennebrew. Joshua lives in the Central Islip School District. He's in Mrs. Fusco's class. Joshua is very good at happily greeting his friends and teachers every morning. Joshua enjoys physical education and playing basketball at recess. Joshua will be receiving the math award. Next year, Joshua will attend the Brookhaven Learning Center. Brian D. Brian is in Ms. Fusco's class. Brian is a very compassionate, hardworking, kind, and respectful student. He is always willing to put in the most amount of effort to be successful. One of Brian's achievements this year was receiving the Leadership Award in the month of October. Brian will also be receiving the Cooperation Award. Next year, Brian will attend Brookhaven Learning Center. Stephanie Innes. Stephanie lives in the Patchogue Medford School District. She's in Miss Fusco's class. Stephanie is very passionate about music and singing. One of Stephanie's achievements this year was receiving the Music Leadership Award for February. Stephanie is a hard worker who always gets the job done. Stephanie is receiving the Academic Achievement Award. Next year, Stephanie will attend Brookhaven Learning Center. Matthew Stevens. Matthew lives in the Mount Sinai School District. He's in Miss Fusco's class. Matthew is a happy student who is always excited to greet his friends and teachers. He has made significant improvement in his social skills with his classmates. He especially enjoys going on the swings at recess. Matthew is receiving the Socialization Award. Next year, Matthew will attend the Brookhaven Learning Center. Jonathan Miranda Cruz. Jonathan lives in the Comstalog School District. He's in Faith Altimos' class. Jonathan is very good at independently walking around the classroom and especially enjoyed looking at books. Jonathan will be receiving the Perseverance Award. Next year, Jonathan will attend the Brookhaven Learning Center at Samoset. Jaden Perez. 
Jaden lives in the Brentwood School District. He's in Danielle Coretz's class. Jaden is very good at using his 3D PEC symbols to communicate and especially enjoyed his visits to this New Zealand room. Jaden will be receiving the Personal Growth Award. Next year, Jaden will attend Brookhaven Learning Center at Somerset. Whitney Pierre. Whitney lives in the Brentwood School District. She's in Pat Rathbun's class. Whitney is a very happy student and is always smiling. She's very good at following directions and enjoys activities involving music. Whitney has come so far since starting at Prem and will be receiving the Academic Growth Award. Next year, Whitney will attend Brookhaven Learning Center at Somerset. Jalissa C. Jalissa is in Iman Atala's class. Jalissa is very good at using her thumbs to activate a voice output switch to listen to music. She loves sensory experiences. Jalissa looks and attends to the smart board when we engage in musical activities. She enjoys riding the adapted bicycle around the school. She will be receiving the Endurance Award. Next year, Jalissa will continue to receive services through her current residence. We congratulate Jalissa on her graduation. Alexandra Martins. Alexandra lives in the Sachem School District. She's in Helene Davis's class. Alexandra is very good at smart board lessons, sitting on the mat, and using the eye gaze for communication. She especially enjoys watching videos, being near her friends, and spending time with her family. Alexandra will be receiving the Principal's Award. Next year, Alexandra will attend a day rehabilitation program. We congratulate Alexandra on her graduation. Luz Vega. Luz lives in the Brentwood School District. She's in Iman Atala's class. Luz is a very happy student and is always smiling. She's very good at entertaining herself and standing in the gate trainer and especially enjoys music and all musical activities at the smart board. She also enjoys music to warm up during PE, engaging with her peers using the colorful parachute and bowling. Luz will be receiving the Physical Education Award. We congratulate Luz on her graduation. Hello, I hope you enjoyed the graduation slideshow that we put together. Ms. Papalio and I are incredibly proud of these students who have worked so hard every day to learn and grow. While this is not how anyone envisioned celebrating their accomplishments, we took great care in and enjoyed creating this tribute to them. To our students, you never cease to inspire us and uplift us during your time in our programs. You learned new skills, grew stronger, gained confidence, and made friends. We will miss your smiles and the joy that you bring to our buildings every day, but we are grateful for the time that we have been able to share with you. To our families, we are so thankful for all of the commitment that you have shown throughout the years, and especially this year. We quite literally could not have gotten through this year without you. Thank you for sharing your children with us. Each one of them is a blessing, and it was our honor to teach them and to learn from them. As our celebration and tribute comes to a close, we would like to recognize that it was organized by a wonderful team, our graduation committee. A special thank you to Mary Fusco for creating our graduation presentation and slideshow. We would also like to thank all PREM and included site staff, including our teachers, teacher assistants, individual aides, related service providers, secretaries, custodians, nurses, and building support team for their ongoing work and dedication throughout the year. Congratulations to our moving up and graduating class of 2020. and causes of success may you have the confidence to always do your best may you take no effort in your being generous sharing what you can nothing more nothing less may you know the meaning of the word happiness may you always lead from the beating in your chest may you be treated like an esteemed guest may you get to rest may you catch your breath may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows Whoa. Oh, may the road less paved be the road that you follow. Oh, well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break. Here's to the lives that you're gonna.
gonna change Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you I want you to have it Here's to the good times we're gonna have You don't need money, you got a free pass Here's to the fact that I'll be sad without you I want you to have it all Slap bracelet. May you keep the chaos and the clutter off your desk. May you have unquestionable health and less stress. Having no possessions, though immeasurable wealth. May you get a gold star on your next test. May your educated guesses always be correct. And may you win prizes shining like diamonds. May you really own it each moment to the next. Or may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. Whoa. Or may the road less paved be the road that you follow oh. Well, here's to the hearts that you gonna break Here's to the lives that you gonna change Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you I want you to have it Here's to the good times we gonna have You don't need money, you got a free pass Here's to the fact that I'll be sad without you you to have it all. Oh, I want you to have it all. I want you to have it all. I want you to have it all. Oh, I want you to have it all. Or oh, you can imagine all. Oh, no matter what your path is, if you believe it, then anything can happen. Go, go, go. Raise your glasses. Go, go, go. and a special thank you to Paul Wimmer for making our virtual celebration possible. Congratulations to all of our graduates. We wish you a happy, healthy, and safe summer. Thank you.